Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kitty Paintball. Today we're going to be going over the Infinity Drive. Of course, this is the drive that you'll find in the MacDev Prime and the XDS. I, I will also be showing you guys how to sort of disassemble the Prime uh, or the XDS specifically and how easy it really is. Um, now, I, I'm going to need to break it down this far to help illustrate how this engine works. So let's get started. First off, we're going to remove the eye covers. I already removed the one on the right side. I'm going to pull out the bolt. Got the infinity drive here. Remove the frame screws. Just like that, the trigger frame and the body are separated. So we're gonna just pull this bit out here. This uh, this wire is connecting to the solenoid, to the jumper bridge. Pull that out, and then you can use a tiny Allen key here. Watch out, because it's magnetic here, as you see. We're going to carefully pull the eye away. Again, over here, these magnets are super strong. Pull that away. We're going to remove the screws from the jump board. So, as you can see, you have the eyes connected to this board and just simply by this little clip here. Now we're going to remove this, actually we don't need to remove this. This screw is retaining the magnets here. We just need to remove this and these to pull the solenoid out, and this to pull out the subplate. Just gonna pull out this plate here. Push that, put that to the side, and then just carefully pull away the solenoid, and it just separates like that. And the screws are just sitting in there right now. We'll put that to the side over here. Where I like to start off is is try to coordinate where the porting in the body is and how that relates to the entry points in the bolt itself. So from the supply from the HBR, directly from the HBR, this air is traveling to these ports here. These ports are traveling to the air that's behind the small o-ring at the tip of the keg here. All right, so we have the supply air entering through the keg here. These holes are located in front of the number 19 O-ring seal here. Now, these indentations in the bolt here are located around the number 19. So the number 19 is pretty much wraps around the bolt here in the resting position. Now, air flowing through the keg hits these indentations, goes underneath the number 19 o-ring, air flows through these subtractions in the bolt, as you can see here, they line up with the valve here, 
the air then enters the chamber. Now this is the chamber that allows the bolt to function at 100 psi. Now because of this engine being a unbalanced spool valve, the air chamber is constantly putting force on the bolt and wants to drive the bolt forward. Now this is what brings the solenoid in. Like I said, these two air passages here enter through the holes at the tip of the cannon here. The solenoid is pushing air against the bolt at the top, at the tip of the bolt here, pushing it back in that rearward position. Now there's a constantly a, a constant supply from the there's a constant supply from the supply from the HPR uh, <laughs> to the air valve or the air chamber here through that sequence that I explained before. When you pull the trigger, the solenoid starts venting that air from one of these holes here out of the same holes that the, the air entered from. The solenoid at this point is acting as an air sear, and by that it's essentially holding on, fighting all of this energy, and just lets go. The air in the chamber becomes the dominant force and drives the bolt forward. This bolt continues forward. These indentations pass the number 19 o-ring in the keg. So the kegs can actually, that o-ring is going to be sitting back here. That's sealed, that's sealed off now at this point from the supply. This continues to drive forward. At this point, I also want to point out that the bolt actually extends beyond this, where the inner diameter of the bolt actually decouples from the number 14 o-ring underneath. Something that is unique about the Infinity is that the bolt acts as the chamber switch. The supply and the chamber are isolated and no longer vent, making dwell a non-factor as it increases. The air from the chamber comes through this hole, back out, through the back of the bolt, inside the bolt, and drives that paintball through the breech and out the barrel. The solenoid dwell comes back, pushes, uh, reroutes the air to the front of the tip of the keg again, driving that bolt back, and then resets the bolt into its rearward position and refills the air chamber. So I hope that that made sense for you guys. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated to explain the function of this engine without like an animation or kind of like a cut diagram or section diagram through it. Um, but as you see, this engine is, is very, very, very simple. There is no uh, reactive valve in it uh, that you would find in pretty much like all the high ends now, like the, the arc bolt, the gamma core, the IV core. Uh, yeah, it's just a very simple system. It uses a large amount of volume, uh, low PSI, high flow through the bolt to drive this engine. Stupid, stupid, simple engine. Uh, the characteristics of the engine explain the characteristics of the shot perfectly. I hope that, got, I hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.